Lense langs dan skoene, wistig dertig, die grafsteensangers. So, what or who are the grafsteensangers? So, this is what they look like. The grafsteensangers, translated to the tombstone singers, was a comical entertainment group in South Africa. The 12 members of the group um, varied between 18 and 83 years old. They sang mostly old Afrikaans songs with straight faces and in old costumes. And they would, they would sing it very solemnly, as if they are singing it at, at people's funerals and graves. Lien is at the hospital, and the nurse informs Lien that Tibi, the Biena office, his legs have been amputated, and that only family is allowed to see him. Lien asks nicely, and she's allowed to quickly see him. Tibi is in the hospital bed with many pipes and plugs and things around him. He looks at her with a bewildered look in his, in his eyes. Lin tells him that, that everything will be fine, that I'll have a plan, Mark. Lin thinks to herself that that is what scared looks like, really scared, that Tibi looks really scared. She gets back into the car. Dirkie drove her to the hospital. He asks her if she found him. Lin says that she doesn't believe that he will make it. I don't think he will it. Dirkie replies with, I will say that okay is. And Lin thinks to herself, okay is the food. He tells Lin that they should go get coffee. They stop at a tea garden in Ani Boetalan. The car guard greets them and asks if he can look after the car. Lin and Dirkika sit under a tree. There is a colorful parrot in a cage that speaks and he says lines like, Mora is nog a dag, en die grafsteensanger is hier. Although Lin is not certain if she's hearing correctly. Well, maybe he is saying that, or maybe it is just that Lin has death, or more specifically, Tibby's death on her mind. When they leave, she gives the guard, the car guard, a 10 rand tip, and he is very happy about it. They drive home, and at the flat, they take the lift up. She hugs Turkey and get out. At the flat, she finds Brahms sleeping in front of the TV. She leaves him, she switches off the lights, and go bath. She thinks about the fact that she told Tibby that they will make a plan, but what plan? What a plan? She goes to bed and she dreams about Sprut. She is in a cage wearing her red tracksuit. She's spinning round and round. Sprut gives her money through the cage. She wakes up in a sweat thinking about her mom's reply to her SMS. It says, Baya Liefeyele, just that. The chapter ends with Lean convincing herself that she, she wouldn't really have done anything with sprut, anything sexual for money. She falls asleep again. Okay, guys, this was Worcester 30. I hope that this helped you. Goodbye.